Hi, it's Monday and I just got a uh, self-tape audition from Aura Casting and actually I didn't just get it but I was busy this weekend because it was my mom's birthday so I'm filming it right now. I'm going to change into some sports clothes and then my boyfriend's going to help me film it outside because they want a shot of me running close up and running full body. Originally I was thinking I should do this at my apartment complex's gym but their cardio machines are still closed because of COVID. So we're gonna go do it outside. We're gonna change, we're gonna look sporty, and we're gonna go run. So right now, I just need to look for like a nice neutral backdrop so that I can film the running in. So I'm gonna try and see if in this parking lot that there is something that doesn't look too crazy that I can run around in. Wait, I think I have to like stay up with you keep up with you more so my glasses were on so we're gonna have to shoot the first thing again but at least we have a better hang of it so right now let's do the close-up one and then we'll go back and do the longer one last one you cut my head quite a bit so can you just do it a little bit higher Okay, so we got a few good shots and I realized I like matched the backdrop because there's some purple flowers and obviously greenery near around me, but um, whoa. We got a few shots that I think will work and we're actually using a gimbal and that's why the shots are actually very stable um, for running. Obviously not sponsored, obviously not an ad, but I'm sure I can put a link in the description and an Amazon affiliate link in the description so I would get a percentage of it if you end up buying one. But this thing is so fancy. I'm just learning how to use it, but it just came in handy for this audition. So um, if I book this job, then obviously it's paying for itself but I didn't put any face makeup on and I had to take my glasses off because I forgot. Um, I'm actually getting a smile surgery on Friday, which is why I'm not wearing contacts today and I just gave my skin a little bit of a break from makeup. So in the video, you can see, you know, some randomness, but it's okay. They know they can just cover it with makeup. Usually I would prefer to have my makeup done and have it good for the audition. But it's all right. I think what mostly mattered for them this time was like my body type and just seeing how I ran for this specific casting call, this self tape audition request. They wanted somebody that was athletic, but not like a professional. Obviously, I don't have a like professional athlete's body. Um, so I'm done with the self tape. So I just reread the uh, casting call or the self tape audition request and realized that I needed to do a full body shot as well. So now I'm going to do that. Last night when I was finishing up my self tape for Aura Casting, they emailed me that they had another um, self tape for Aura Casting and also um, something that wasn't included in the original like breakdown was that they wanted you to slate but then in the form to submit it says to include your slate in your audition in the same place. So I decided I would I would get up early today. So today is Tuesday and um, do this late and I did my makeup and then I'm going to do the other audition as well. So I'm setting up right now to do my slate and then I'm going to record the other audition. And I actually got a new backdrop, which is longer than that, that one. This is an 86 inch. That one is a 53 inch and I'm gonna use the blue one, the new one for my second um, audition that I got from Aura. Okay, so let me finish this up because I, it's 8.20 in the morning and I have stuff to do. I'm actually working at my office job today. Okay, I think that looks good. So now I'm gonna set up something in here. I'm supposed to have some kind of tall desk in front of me. I have one in my living room but it would take me really long to take everything off of it and put it over here it's more like a tall shelf so um i might just hold the laptop instead of having it in a shelf because really they just want me to look in a certain direction and i can pretend to be like let me switch this backdrop out and change into that other look for it's like a tech to me it looks like a tech convention that's what it looks like to me, what the image I'm supposed to do. So for this one, I'm supposed to look out and wander. And then the other one is a wide, full body 
um, obviously full body shot of me on the computer and then one that's like a medium shot of me up on the computer. So I need to do that. I have 36 minutes to film that, edit both of them and send them over. I did start editing the first one, but I need to hurry up. I can immediately tell this is a lot harder to light than the gray one. It just looks a little off. Oh, okay. It was just auto white balance. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, I'm going to do my slate. Is this good lighting? Um, I don't have a laptop, so I'm going to use a notebook. So obviously I straightened my hair and I just did the other two shots and I'm going to do the full body shot and then I'm going to be done and have like 15 minutes okay i'm so glad i decided on that because that made it look so much better so i'm gonna go edit and then i need to hurry up i was trying to be early for my office job but unfortunately i was still a little late hey so today is uh wednesday and i'm in oakland and we are filming an industrial i finally realized duh, they didn't give me usage information so this is a non-union industrial and everybody here is super nice i wasn't comfortable with the makeup artists using their products for obvious reasons because of the pandemic you know and i'm getting eye surgery on friday so they were nice enough to let me bring my own stuff so right now we're filming um basically i have a uh non-speaking role but it's like a lot of acting we are speaking but they're only going to be using most of this as b-roll so it's pretty fun everybody's very chill um i'm almost done Hi you guys, so I wanted to quickly go over my auditions, the auditions that I got in April and March because I didn't do one last month. I'm waiting for something in my car, so I thought, let's let's just go ahead and do this. So if you've never seen this before, I like to, I'm trying to do this, this is something I started this year, but I'm trying to, every first Saturday of the month, I want to share with you guys what auditions I did, which ones I booked, where I got them from, in case you can also get some opportunities from here. Um, so I am, of course, as always going to blur out information that I think is appropriate to blur out, to be professional, to the people that gave me these opportunities. Um, so I like to put the date, where I got the casting from, so if it was from my agent, SF casting, LA casting, uh, a direct booking from maybe somebody I worked with in the past, uh, the name of the job or the company, if it's an NDA, that's really important to remember the role, the pay rate, the audition type, so did I send in my reel, a self-tape audition, which one of the ones I booked uh, this week, I, it was just from submitting a reel and I'll tell you about that in a second. Um, and then did I get a call back? Was I booked? Yes or no. And then I have notes, um, miles traveled the, the day I got paid on. If I did book it, uh, a link to the video or headshot that I submitted just to know which one I submitted and then some notes just to know, you know, what else is in there. So let me scroll down to March and April. March and April were definitely slower than I thought they were going to be. At moments, it felt like March and April were going to start picking up. Maybe not. I did recently reactivate my SF Casting and LA Casting accounts so that I can start self-submitting again because I was vaccinated um, almost three weeks ago. So I am self-submitting now. Um, it looks like in March, I, got, I only got six auditions, but one of them... I actually created myself. So this list is auditions slash, slash projects because I do want to keep track of all my projects. The first one is from Facebook because I met Javi on Facebook a few years ago when he was casting for a commercial he was doing. So we actually co-wrote and produced and um, created a short called The Least, which he's currently finishing up editing. We still have to do a little bit of a voiceover to put in there. but. That's what we created. Of course, I didn't make any money from it and I cast myself. So yes, I was booked for it. Um, sometimes I forget all of the things that I did. So I thought this would be a good way to even when it's 
short films or you know things I do with friends to put them in here as well so that I can remember and also so you know that you can just go and look for some creative people near you and get some stuff done the next one is uh, the Academy of Art I originally found out about them through SF casting but I did get an invitation to do a zoom audition from the casting director there directly and then I booked it it was a student piece that they wrote I think they take turns it's like a group of students um, in the class there's different groups and one student will take turns of being the director the writer the editor um, I think that's it but they'll, they'll take turns and do all of that and I booked that one and I had to use a green screen I have I'm pretty sure a whole vlog about it yeah from back in March and then the next audition was a voiceover audition for my agents I did not book that um, and then another audition for my agents a commercial audition self tape I did not book that and then aura casting which I did do a video about them recently it's a hundred percent it's a hundred percent online casting company and um, it was some kind of tech spot commercial audition I never heard back from that did not uh, did not book that and my last audition for March which was really weird it was March 15th so that's the last audition I got for March which was crazy but um, I was working on other stuff like the short film and my videos and stuff so it didn't really feel that slow but um, I got a voiceover audition for my agency and did not book it and then the first audition in April wasn't until April 15th and it was for a voiceover from my agents did not book it then uh, let's go down to April then in the middle of April I reactivated my SF casting and LA castings account and immediately got um, a self tape audition request from Kristen Beck and then I also submitted my um, my reel for another one and I did book it so let's go through the list um, this is the one I was talking about on April 16th I sent in a voiceover I know they haven't filmed it it's an NDA they just put social media and NDA, NDA did not put any information on what it was um, I haven't heard back from them and it's supposed to be shooting May 7th or 8th or something like that like it hasn't been shot yet so still maybe who knows haven't gotten any call or email from them so probably not but that was for a commercial project then on April 20th I got a voiceover audition for my agents my agents have been getting me so many voiceover auditions um, and I didn't book that and then the Academy of Art again I did book it because it's a direct booking um, they've used me before for another class it's a directing class and I did that and then um, <clears throat> on casting networks I submitted my reel so if you guys saw the video of the reel that I created myself from self tape auditions that I've done in the past I actually got booked for that it's for it was for an industrial job and you guys saw earlier in the vlog that I already did it I filmed it yesterday and that, I just submitted that. It, it was non-speaking, but they were using the B-roll, so we still had to act out scenes and improvise scenes, but they weren't gonna be using our voices. So it was like a featured background almost. Like, I don't really know the category, because you're acting, but they're not gonna use your voice, so. Um, and you, the camera is looking, you know, right into your face. <clears throat> and then, the last two auditions that I did this month, April 25th and 26th, were both with Aura Casting, with both for commercials. Um, they both sounded like some kind of uh, tech job. Um, so yeah, and you guys saw me film some of those earlier this week, and I haven't heard back from those. It was just a couple of days ago. Like I mentioned, I'm going to get uh, eye surgery tomorrow. It's Smile Eye Surgery, and it's I'm pretty sure they're a big company because I know they have offices both in NorCal and SoCal, and um, I'm gonna get smile surgery. So I'm not gonna have to wear glasses anymore. That's why I haven't worn contacts this week because you're not allowed to. But um, that means that if I get an audition today, like I'll add it to the vlog and I'll do it. But if they, I get anything sent tomorrow or really the next day, I might not be able to do it just because I know for sure tomorrow I'm just gonna sleep all day. Um, so that's it. Those are all of the auditions that I got for March and April, and that's it for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just looked at the subscriber count, which 
it doesn't like really matter but it's cool to get like round numbers right and it's cool to know that there's actually people watching um oh, i'm almost at 10,000 subscribers which is crazy um i think i need like 50 something and then i'll have 10,000 which is crazy because um i've been doing youtube since 2017 and it's it's hard to like you know give people enough value so that they think that they should subscribe but regardless I really appreciate you for watching especially if you are all the way here at the end of the vlog thank you so much I appreciate it reminder that um May 1st is the last day today is the last day if you're watching this Saturday May 1st today is the last day to submit to the monologue competition so as long as I have your link in my email by May 1st, 11:59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I will submit it. I would put it I will put it on our spreadsheet and Cynthia and I will um will confirm that we received it and we'll take a look at your audition. Thank you so much for watching at the end of every video I feature another channel. This is today's feature. They submitted to the monologue competition and I am featuring them today. Thank you so much. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed, like this video and leave me a comment.